Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It's still Saturday, June 3rd, 2020 trees on the Drunk Poker Root Tis Beer Time. Uh, gonna get into more beers from my friend and yours, Polly G. Uh, he, he did me the solid, and I believe Greg picked them up for us, but Polly did me the solid of uh, getting me the, the series of loggers, this year's logger series, Laga from uh, Brewhead. He's not dead, it's just like I'm shouting to where he lives, the Brewhead come back, but he created Laga, uh, the Laga series from Sawdust City Brewing. Oh, baby. Uh, this one here, so <laughs> where do you start? They got some lower ABV. No, boo-boo. No, boo-boo. Boo -boo. We're going to start with the big ABV. We're going to start with a collab with the second wedge, who are almost back up and running after a tornado destroyed their brewery last year. So that's good to see good folks make good beer. From 7% uh, Maybach, Papa Gnu. Papa G remember? Remember Great Space Coaster? All the, all the Gnus. That's good Gnus with Gary Gnu. Papa Gnu. Uh, made with uh, Sasquatch hops, Canada's only. Uh, homegrown hop, patented hop. That's very interesting. I mean, we have lots of hops grown here in Canada, but this is our only, like, Canadian-specific hop. Pacifically specific. Great idea. Maybach. Down here in the grotto because we are staining the deck. We're done for the day. Also, we ran out of stain because I did not buy enough because apparently I don't know how, how big the deck is. It's a big deck. I got a big deck. It's a big deck. What are you going to do about it? Who's got to stain that deck? That's a joke from my buddy's father. He used to say that all the time. That's a big deck. You got a big deck? And I'd be like, that's an uncomfortable conversation we're having. I don't know. <laughs> ah, smells malty. Oh, boo, boo. Thank you, Polly, for thinking of me for this one. Uh, I, all day, like I put them in the fridge when I got home this morning at like 10 o'clock. And I was like, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I didn't realize I'd have to wait till 5 o'clock. But still, it's time for beer. Let's go. Cheers. That's a chewy beer. Honey-like. Chewy, honey-like. Ooh, you feel that kind of heat there. Yeah, man, that is just beautifully done. Oh, my God. That is a strong, malty beer, right? Chewy bread crust. Honey, a little bit of spice. Just yummy. Oh, that is a, that's a thicken. That's a thicken beer, man. That's going to, wow, whoa, whoa. I can't do the, I would do the Wookiee thing, but ah, I can't do it. Oh. You know what? Wow. And Polly told me, he's like, it just, it just coats the inside of your mouth with the, the flavors. And I'm like, all right. And I tried it and hold it, moly. You know, we had, as a, you know, we did the D-Gen beer, the Maximum Ice, the Freeze Distilled Malt Liquor. And those are big multi beers. But they are so, there's no flavor. It's just black. This is a big, strong 7% beer, but it is filled with, like, honey bread. It's just... <clears throat> and I don't know how to describe it better than that. I think it's the best way to describe it. It is a thick, chewy, goddamn good beer. I love it. I love big, strong lagers. They're just so good. They're just like, yeah, it's a lager, but, oh, well, baby, you better wash out because it's coming for you. <laughs> I spent a lot of time in the sun surrounded by paint fumes today, so that's where we are right now. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'll show you the deck tomorrow if we finish it, or maybe the next day when it dries. But I'm on a long weekend. This is beer number two. Beer number three ain't too far behind. Cheers. I got two of these, too. But I'm going to save the other one for a quiet night in a couple of weeks when I'm just out here by myself having a beer. I think that's going to do well. Slow sipper on, like, a Tuesday night.